Hi, this is Brent with Production Expert, and today we're going to be taking a look at the electric R, W, and S from E Instruments. And I'm going to be showing you how I made this composition loop here in five minutes or less using some of the amazing features that are built into these contact libraries. So let's have a listen to the track, and then we'll dive right into the features. If you're like me and you're not a keys player, coming up with great chord progressions can seem a little bit difficult and you can often find yourself going for the same chords, the same chord progressions and the same phrases. I've tried many different roads and electric piano libraries over the years, but these e-instrument libraries are some of the first I've seen which have these really, really great MIDI chord progressions and phrases and licks built in. In fact, the animator section has more than 400 ready to play licks and phrases covering loads of different genres and styles. So if we click here, we can see we have chill, pop, R&B, all. There's a real plethora of combinations you can come up with. And within each section, we have different folders, different choruses, intros, bridges. It really is a great songwriting tool. So using the animator, I was able to come up with this chord progression and I didn't even have to press anything other than the C key and then the smooth intro was mapped to that key. Let's have a listen. You can see the duration of the note that I'm playing. So I changed from C to D. Then from here I've changed to a different key. And if you turn on Smart Chord, it'll also map to the correct keys that you're playing on the keyboard, and it'll also stick to the key that you're actually in the tonal center. Now, I did this with the electric R, and also the electric W and the electric S. All of them have got a slightly different sound. The Rhodes has a smoother and more bell-like tone, whereas the Wurlitzers have got a distinctly sharper and more harsh edge, but this can still work out really nicely. In fact, it helps the Rhodes cut through a little bit more by combining these different sounds. So let's have a listen to the W. And this one's playing up an octave as well. I'm also only using the built-in effects on all of these libraries, so there's no external processing. And then lastly, the electric S. So somewhat similar to the Rhodes, but this one is based around the suitcase model. Now, I believe all of the libraries have the studio and the live functionality, which also gives it more of a live sound. So if we have a listen to the difference here, there's a really nice optionality of sounds on board these libraries. So the studio is cleaner and the live highlights some of the mid warmth within all of these electric keyboards. Lastly, we have the Pentamorph here. Using this, you can get a totally different sound from all of the keyboards within a matter of seconds. We have the unplugged sound here, which is very acoustic sounding. Then we have the original mode, the tonality, which has a little bit more EQ and even some effects going on unique mode which on this preset has a lot of room sound and lastly reversed so if you combine pentamorph with animator and the smart chord you can really make people think that you are a fantastic keyboard player within 
seconds. It's quite amazing. And also, there's a lot of these MIDI chord progressions popping up on sample labels, which are great. But the fact that these are built into the library just makes it all seamless. The integration is really great across all of these libraries. And I just think that if you're a songwriter, this is a gift. It's a tool that is going to really enable your workflow and your speed in your sessions. And again, if you're also a songwriter who enjoys to mix and produce your own music, having the ability to get sounds on the Pentamorph here without having to do much sound design yourself is a really, really nice feature. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.